Water is a necessity, not just for day-to-day -day use, but it's also used for almost everything we do. New research suggests that the West is in a mega drought. Team 12's Jen Wall, you can see she is live right now in Phoenix. Jen, this new study is causing Google searches to spike, and you are out covering one of the most commonly asked questions this morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Emily. Google searches for mega drought in the West and 1,200 year mega drought skyrocketing along with this latest study. And one of those big questions asked were, what can you plant? So drought tolerant trees that we can put up in our yards. That's important because it can feel overwhelming at times to hear all of this news about mega droughts, but there are things we can do at home to help. The new study comes from the journal Nature Climate Change. It found in 10 drying last year, about as dry as 2002. That was one of the driest ever recorded for the West. The previous mega drought record holder was back in the late 1500s. The study also finding that 42% of the mega drought can be attributed to human caused climate change. Here in Arizona, we are no stranger to efforting climate friendly plants in our yards, and there are small ways that we can make a big difference. So, joining me live now is Rich Furnish, Summer Winds Nursery. Thank you so much for being here. So, we're talking about these drought tolerant trees. What are some of your best recommendations for customers, people moving to Arizona? There's choices. Palo Verdes are brilliant. Uh, spring flowers, mesquites, amazing, create dappled shade, um, cre cr which creates microclimates so you can grow other stuff underneath that you wouldn't have been able to grow without the shade of the tree. Uh, personal favorite, desert willow, uh, dormant now, but beginning to bud, and the flowers are incredible. And that'll be great for summer. What are some that we have behind us here that are some of your favorites that we can show viewers? Okay, um, behind you we have some olives, and there's another one to my right, a mastic tree. These do really well here. Uh, evergreen, so you've got color all year round. That is awesome. And when we're talking about saving water, how much water are we actually looking at saving when we transition to drought-tolerant trees and plants? Okay, these trees, once initially planted, yes, you're going to have to give them water each day, but once established, you really are going to cut back. It's going to save a lot of money, save a lot of water. And is there a time of year that's better to plant than others, or can you kind of go any time you want here in Arizona? Ideally, spring. Right now is perfect, and then again in the fall. You can in the summer, but I would hold back. Go for spring, go for fall. All right, spring and fall, so perfect timing. And then we were talking a little bit about our soil. Is there anything special we need to do to treat it and help just give these plants and trees a jump start? Uh, for the trees, yeah, I mean the soil. Our soil is very alkaline. It's very low in nutrients. If you want to plant native plants such as cacti, then go ahead, just put them straight in the ground. All right, there you have it. And if you want to learn more about drought tolerant plants and trees, you can go to summerwindsnursery.com. They have a really great blog up. There are so many options for us to help conserve water, create shade, which is also very important to help cool our temperatures and add some color to our yards.